Sounds amazing. Meanwhile, we're celebrating the first day of winter with some cooler conditions, right? We are definitely seeing today. Actually, we saw the shortest day, longest night of the year, otherwise known as the winter solstice. So today in El Paso, we got to see 10 hours of daylight before our sun began to set at five o'clock this afternoon. So it was a short day and now it's slowly going to begin to uh, lengthen or it's actually going to get a little longer as we get closer to the first day of spring, which would be the spring equinox. That's equal day, equal night, so it's just a big, huge circle. Right now, we're at the end of the calendar year, if you will, as far as our seasons go. So now we're looking at 48 degrees. That's awfully chilly. We're looking at those easterly winds at about 5 miles per hour, partly cloudy skies. And today, we officially registered 68, uh, 64 degrees at the airport for El Paso, 65 in Las Cruces, and 63 in Juarez. Here's how we compare. On average, El Paso should be hovering closer to about 57 degrees. That's normal for this time of year. We were clearly above that today, close to 10 degrees above average. 30, uh, 34 degrees is normal for this time of year. 27 is how we started off this morning. Below freezing, below average. Now tonight into tomorrow, a little bit of a change here. We do expect to stay above freezing in El Paso and above average. 38 degrees, your forecast overnight low in the Sun City, and we do expect to see those freezing conditions for the rest of the region. High pressure system definitely settling right over the Four Corners area. This is actually going to be warming us for the next several days. For us, this means temperatures are back in the 70s, so it's going to feel a lot more spring-like than it will winter. And it's hard to believe that we are right in the middle of Christmas week. It doesn't feel like Christmas is right around the corner, especially because tomorrow we're forecasting 68 degrees. Nice calm winds coming out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. In Las Cruces, we're forecasting 67 degrees, a little breezier there, and this high pressure system is going to stay with us through the rest of the weekend right and just in time for Christmas Day. So Thursday, 72 degrees, your forecast high, 74 is your record, so just a couple of degrees shy from the record. Friday, Christmas Eve, 76 degrees, we're beating that record, and on Christmas Day, 74 degrees will just slightly stay below the record high of 75 by one degree. For the rest of the week, we do expect to see those windy conditions Friday, once again Sunday and Monday. Monday, we expect to see a slight chance of rain. Better rain chances kick in next week as temperatures slowly begin to cool. Not by much, and we're still well above average. Well, it is uh, Weather Watchers Christmas Edition, and tonight I'd like to give a big shout out to Daniel Dominguez. Thank you so much for allowing us to see this beautiful shot. I love it, and I love your Christmas tree as well. If you want to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit your Christmas tree photo. We're going to do it all the way until Christmas Day through our social media platforms or email. News at KTSM.com. We'll be right back.